A very good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 30th Jan. On the front page you have, Center advises against travel to China. Indigo, Air India cut services. So China's permission is sought to operate two flights to even bring back Indians from Hubei. So Indians who are located in China are to be brought back. And travel advisory is uh, of the center is to not travel to China. And this is in the context of the new coronavirus which has initiated in China and is spreading across the world. Here you have time limit on advance bail violates personal liberty, Supreme Court. So the Supreme Court has said protection of anticipatory or pre-arrest bail cannot be limited to any time frame or fixed period as denial of bail amounts to deprivation of fundamental right to personal liberty in a free and democratic country. So it says time limit provision stops foisting of false cases by the powerful. So, the provision of uh, bail as such, advance bail, anticipatory bail as it is called. So, this entire uh, history of how this idea of anticipatory bail came forth, advance bail. Then, then below you have MEPs therefore vote on CA motion to march. So, this is members of European Parliament. We have seen news how they have initiated a resolution against the Citizenship Amendment Act. So, a joint motion is actually a motion. So, a joint motion uh, was discussed, but uh, now they have decided not to hold a vote on the motion until the second half of March 2020. So, this is hailed by India as a diplomatic win. They have discussed, but are not going to vote presently. And this is cabinet nod for raising abortion limit to 24 weeks. So, union cabinet has approved the medical termination of pregnancy amendment bill 2020 to amend the medical termination of pregnancy act of 1971. And this will be introduced in the coming budget session of the parliament. And this pro amendment proposes to enhance the upper gestation limit from 20 to 24 weeks for special categories of women that will be defined in the amendments. So, they, they will be vulnerable women including survivors of rape, victims of incest and others uh, like differently abled women, minors. So, upper gestation limit will be relaxed for them from 20 to 24 weeks in which they can have abortion done. Also, it says that this relaxation from 20 to 24 weeks will not apply to cases of substantial fetal abnormalities diagnosed by medical court. So, for them it will not apply. On page 4 you have, council makes case for control of services. So, this is Delhi government uh, council as such, senior advocate. Uh, who has made a case in the, Supreme, in the Supreme Court asking that Delhi government should have control over services. So, five judge bench of the Supreme Court took up the hearing of this reference. So, earlier the Supreme Court has ruled that Delhi because it is a union territory does not have complete control over the services as such. So, that is a concern because depriving elected government control over services. Services means civil servants basically. So, this will only cripple government. So, it was two judge bench actually which gave a split opinion on the question of services. The Sikri Bhushan bench in Feb 2019. Justice Bhushan held that Delhi government has no power over services while Justice Sikri who is now retired who was the lead judge of the bench took the middle part. On page 5 you have yellow rust in wheat crop causes alarm in Punjab and Haryana. But officials played down the fears. They say that incidence is limited to 6 districts in the two states. But there is this detection of yellow rust disease in wheat crop in, in sub mountainous parts of Punjab and Haryana. So the crop seal would drop because of this. On page 7 you have Reliance Industries Limited lays out road with plastic waste. So 40 km pilot project of road network was made with 50 tons of plastic waste. So this is at uh, Nagothen uh, township as such. So this is a sustainability initiative. So, plastics used by Reliance in the construction included even end of life post consumer plastics such as multi layer films used for packaging of wafers, snacks, you know, flimsy polythene plastic bags, flexible polythene packaging bags used by e commerce companies, etc. So, this is the initiative. 
नगो थाने इट इज अ टाउन इन रायगढ़ डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ महाराष्ट्र ऑन पेज एट यू हैव मंथ लॉन्ग नगोबा जत्रा कंक्लूडेड इन तेलंगाना so this is regarding nagoba jatra you should know it is celebrated by adivasis here in telangana there is a little puja which is part of the rituals on page 9 you have email accounts of government officials hacked so researcher says isro indira gandhi center for uh, you know, atomic research then even barc sebi Uh, the organizations which have been hit and uh, email accounts of government officials here have been hacked so this is a data breach which has come to light now then this is homeopathy ayurveda to prevent corona virus so ministry of traditional medicine or ayush has issued an advisory advocating preventive treatment against novel corona virus strain from china so this was widely circulated via official press information video and it talks of drink shadang paniya processed water store it in a bottle and drink it when thirsty this is what the ayurveda section of the advisory reads and lists preventive steps according to homeopathy also against new corona virus and this is national crime records bureau's missing persons data now available online so all local citizens all over the country can now search for missing persons and check police records of any vehicle from a country wide database on the editorial page the first editorial is planned injustice so this is regarding president donald trump's plan that uh, israeli's annexation of palestinian areas should be validated so this is the west asia peace plan against which palestinians have been protesting and they rejected it even before it was unveiled so the editorial also says that this is planned injustice that you know israeli annexation is validated without bringing peace and this is a mindset problem so this is regarding mg and regs mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee scheme so the editorial says that the government should use mg and regs as a means to spur the rural economy because uh, even the nobel winning economist uh, uh, abhijit benerji has also stated that we should put money in the hands of the poor to spur the economy so economic slow down which we are seeing the drop in gdp which we are seeing in the economy that is a significant drop in rural demand too. so that would come that would be rejuvenated if rural demand can be improved if there is money in the hands of the people and that can be done through schemes such as this which provides employment to in rural areas and gives them money in the hands during lean, lean agriculture seasons and it is also said that now is the time to boost mg and regs and we had seen how the fund crunch has been faced because even last year last year in the budget the allocation was not sufficient then the lead article is time to prioritize education and health so this article says that investment in education and health will create demand in the short run and make economy more competitive in the long run so when we want to to push put money in the economy to spur growth the eight sectors in which money should be put are these two is emphasized here and this is compromising scientific curiosity for marketability so this article talks of how an emphasis on immediate applicability and commercial potential is allowed to steal the space of science so that should not happen so science scientific curiosity uh, should be allowed to explore and uh, emphasis should not be on marketability and commercial potential otherwise research would be constricted on the opet page you have keeping the cow and brahmin apart so this is regarding ridangam the musical instrument which is vital uh, as, as such uh, it plays a significant role in classical music too so this is regarding the instrument and here you have gandhi the dissident so this talks of gandhi and dissidents so it says it is crucial at a time when projects of critical thinking and democratic questioning have retreated so future generations should remember 2019 as a gandhian year but then for that the year is also marked by unprecedented action to combat climate change especially by the young and mahatma gandhi's writings which were full of thoughts on the environment especially 
how the earth is provides enough to satisfy every man's need but not every man's greed so his environmental uh, orientation is also evident so that is covered here his values then this is a road map for robust state so this talks about india australia relations economic relations so it says the challenge for india and australia is to transform transform people to people ties into a trade relationship on page 12 you have supreme court dismisses nirbhaya convicts plea so the quick decision by president does not mean there was non application of mind is what the supreme court bench has stated and this is regarding three month flying ban which has been put on kural kamra the comedian who has all uh, who has critiqued on modi and bjp too so he has actually been barred by director general of civil aviation but uh, by the airlines actually and director general of civil aviation backs it so it was he was flying through indigo and indigo has put a three month ban on him because he allegedly was uh, constantly questioning and you know, journalist arnab goswami who was flying along with him he was in the same flight and this is islam does not bar women from mosques says board so this is a pil plea challenging current prohibition on them so public interest litigation has been filed but all india muslim personal law board clarified to the supreme court that islamic doctrine tenets and beliefs do not prohibit muslim women from entering mosques to offer prayer and here you have osf moves high court against watch list order so this is open society foundation which is an international grant making network promoted by billionaire philanthropist george soros so he has moved uh, the organization has moved delhi high court against central government's decision to place osf under watch list for funding ngos and associations that are not registered under foreign contribution regulation act so an ngo that expect uh, that expects to receive foreign funds has to mandatorily register under fcr so this is the issue here. on international page you have us japan pull out nationals from wuhan so coronavirus death toll has increased to 133 and number of cases in china has jumped to 5974 surpassing that of sars so world health organization has said there was a deepening uh, deeply concerning evidence of person to person transmission in other countries also and it added that the emergency committee would reconvene to decide whether the spread of the new virus now constitutes a global emergency So, two nationals have, and India is also planning to remove its nationals. And this is will Trump's peace plan help resolve Israel-Palestine crisis? So, this article talks about uh, the West Asia peace plan, which has been unveiled by U.S. President Donald Trump, which seeks to give Israelis what they have long waited, long wanted. That is, an expansive state with Jerusalem as its undivided capital, and tight security control over future Palestinian state. So. then this is india urges direct talks between israel palestine so india has also spoken on the matter and it says find an acceptable two state solution and this is us house wants china not to meddle in dalai lama succession so us house of representatives has voted to authorize sanctions against chinese officials who interfere in the process of determining the dalai lama's successor The Dalai Lama is a Tibet spiritual leader. is presently eighty five now. Then on business page you have corporate company specific news. So there's nothing important. Only Indigo news is there regarding how shareholders have rejected change to share transfer norms. Though, but this can also be uh, skipped. So that is it. These were the important headlines. For detailed coverage of current affairs, you can visit our website asia dot com. Thank you.